welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do two DIY projects which were inspired by Hermione. If you don't know her channel I will link it down below as well as the exact video where she did those DIYs. I didn't recreate the exact DIY she was doing so make sure to check out her video also because hers are amazing. I took the inspiration from her and added my own twist to the project. So first we're gonna work on this adorable basket from Ikea. I've seen such baskets around Swiss furniture stores a lot and they cost a lot. <laughs> so this is honestly something I really recommend to do by yourself if you love crafting because you save a lot of money and you can individualize it as much as you would like to. So first of all I added those cute cute tassels which is like a great project you can do in front of the TV at night or something. Let me show you how I did it. So for the tassels, I'm gonna do just regular tassels. You need some yarn and you just wrap it around something. You can wrap it around your fingers like I did or you can wrap it around something you have to get like the same sizes each time. And the amount of wrapping you do really depends on how big you want your tassels to be. I wrapped my yarn around my hands about 20 times. As I said, you can do more, you can do less, depending on how thick your yarn is and on what look you're going for. So Hermione did very huge tassels and I did more um, delicate ones. Take a piece of yarn and loop it through the tassel like shown and then tie it. Cut the yarn on the opposite side of the knot we just did. Take another piece of yarn and tie it around the tassel. Wrap the remaining yarn around the tassel and then knot it. Cut off any excess, make it even and then it's ready to be used. For this project I made 16 tassels in total. You don't really need a needle, as you can see I just poked it in with some tool I had laying around because the basket has huge holes. Make sure um, it is evenly distributed so I didn't measure it or anything but what I did was I just like folded it like this and started here and then I made the opposite one and started it here. So I knew where the four quarters were of my basket and then I was able to fill in. After that the basket looked very cute already but still something was missing so I found those cute pom-poms in a local craft store and I just sewed them on. I think you can find those anywhere. If you don't find them in your craft store I'm sure you can find them online. So um, yeah just sew on the pom-poms and your cute boho inspired basket is done. I'm storing um, blankets in here but you can store whatever you like. You could also use it like a planter or how do you call this like where you put your plant in but then make sure to cover it with plastic inside that you don't get any mold or anything. So in the second part of this video I'm gonna share with you how I created this huge cozy floor poof which was so easy and actually pretty fast to do. I think I had about two hours but this includes like my thinking steps and me not being talented at using a sewing machine. So I went shopping and I saw this rock for only 10 bucks. It was on sale in Switzerland so I was like I can totally do the DIY Hermione did. And I wanted to do it a little bit more boho inspired, that's why I decided to buy some trim and add some trim. So I went on the internet and I ordered a whole bunch of different trims and they were very cheap and they arrived in about two weeks. I'm gonna link every single trim down below so you can check them out. Then I laid them down on my rug to see which trims I want to use and in which order I want to use them. And then I took my sewing machine and sewed the trims on. As you can see I'm not working with any pins. Not because I don't like it, but simply because I didn't have any. And if I want to do something, I want to do it right now. I didn't want to drive to my mom's or Ben's mom's place or my grandma's place to get some um, securing needles, but I just wanted to start doing it. And that's why I just 
eyeballed it basically and just um, tried to secure it with my hands and sew it on. Honestly, I feel like it adds to the whole boho vibe to not have that perfection. I would really recommend to work with a sewing machine because otherwise it will take you ages. Maybe you can work with a um, fabric glue, but I'm not sure how well that works. But if you work with a sewing machine, please make sure to use a thick needle. I used a jeans needle and it went through the rug like butter. Also, as you can see in the video, I am rolling the rug that I can fit it into my machine and sew. So I really recommend to do that as well. So after I sewed on all my trims, I basically folded the rug the way I wanted to have it and then I sewed the sides shut. So then I got Velcro and sewed it on. Make sure to do this first because I think it's a lot easier. So for filling my floor poof, I used old cushions I had laying around. So this saved me again a lot of cost. For those of you guys who were wondering, this is how it looks like from the back. I didn't cut those off because I feel like it adds to the whole vibe. And here's the Velcro where you can open the poof and close it. This is how the finished project looks like. I love how those items turned out. I actually do have them on my balcony and I really love the boho vibe it adds to the whole look. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like watching such DIY videos, please let me know because over the years my interests changed and since I have my own apartment now, I'm very interested in room decor DIY project so I'm doing quite a lot actually and I'm willing to film them and share them with you if you'd like to see them so please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel I will see you very soon in my next video bye